Hi everyone, I'm here today to show you how we're going to connect a bed rail to a post. Um, if you're making a bed yourself, you know that you need to have some pretty good solid connections between the post and the rail because over time from jumping into bed and moving around in bed, these joints can loosen up. And uh, from experience, I know that if you drilled holes to go through the posts and then into the end grain of the wood inside here and even though you've got lots of thread in here eventually they will slowly loosen up. You can tighten it and it'll loosen up and it can either do that just from wear and tear or if you move the bed a few times to different apartments or homes as you're tightening it up you'll go a little bit stronger but eventually you'll end up pulling the threads out of the hole inside of the wood. So I'm going to show you how to make a a uh, really super strong connection in the wood and we're going to use an uh, inch and a quarter dowel and we're going to drill some holes and we're going to drill some holes into the post and we're going to join it onto here and I'll show you how how uh, strong it can be once we're done. And before everybody starts uh, getting on me, yes this is pressure treated and we are not going to use this in an actual bed, this is just for demonstration purposes. Okay so I've marked off this 2x10 that we're going to attach to the 4x4 post. So the actual dimension of it is 3.5 inch by 3.5 inch. We've got a, an 8 inch lag bolt here, 3 eighths of an inch, and like I say 8 inches long. So the 3.5 inches that the post is going to take up out here, that leaves us 4.5 inches. And that's where the tip of the bolt will come to, right to that 4.5 inch mark. So we want our dowel to be right in this area right here. So it's an inch and a quarter dowel, halfway, I measured down five-eighths of an inch from the tip in. And we should be able to drill our hole here and here. And we have to also drill out the posts, so let's get that done. So we're going to use a three-eighths inch drill, and we're going to drill through the post so that we can slide our 3 8 inch lag bolts right through without threading it into this post part. Okay, once you have these holes drilled, just make sure, take your lag bolt and slide it in there. Make sure it's a nice easy fit because when you go to assemble the bed, you want the bolt to slide right through and partially go into the bed rail, which we're going to be uh, putting the dowels in shortly and you want it to slide together nicely then you're going to use a ratchet to put the rest together. Next we're going to take our inch and a quarter spade bit and we're going to drill two holes at the marked positions. Okay now that we've got our holes drilled we want to take the inch and a quarter dowel and we want to cut two lengths. This is a 2 by 10 and so it's an inch and a half thick so we want to go a little bit more than an inch and a half to leave room for sanding. Now let's put a little bit of glue in there and we'll set them in the hole. We want to align the th grain so that the bolt is going through the grain 90 degrees to it. If we go this way it'll probably just split that dowel over time. So let's put them in uh, 90 degrees. Just leave them sticking out just a little bit for sanding and we'll let that dry. Okay, so now these dowels are dry and now we're going to drill some holes. We've marked the end here of the wood. We're going to drill a 5 16 hole right through and through the center of the dowel just to the other side of the dowel. The 5 16 size, we come to that size because that's the inner part of that shaft there. The outside of the thread is 3 8 so the inside part is 5 16 so it has a hole to go into and the threads can bite. Okay, now that the holes are drilled and we're ready to put our, our post on, we'll give this a sand job just to get that uh, the tops of the dowel down. Okay, as you can see, that's sanded down just beautiful. Now we'll put our post on. The one thing I forgot to mention is that uh, before we put the post on, we want to drill 
Now we want to drill a 3 8 hole in, only about an inch, inch and a half, so that when we start the bolts, it's, it can just go in the hole and it starts itself off quite nicely, so we'll do that. And we'll get our board started in our pilot holes there, so they line up nice, there we go. Okay, now I've tightened those down pretty good. Now let's uh, let's really refund them to see how much we can uh, actually tighten these guys up. So you know these uh, these lag bolts in they're actually crushing the washer into this post. So these attachments in here are doing a great job, almost like a nut and and a bolt here, and it is uh, it's extremely strong. Let's tighten these up to see if we can actually strip them out. Just to show you how strong these are. And it's, it, it is showing no signs of stripping. And I am tightening those up really good. And I'll just give you a quick view here. Yeah, so you can see right here where the washer has pulled itself right into the wood. We've been able to tighten these up so much. That says that this joint right here is holding up beautifully. So uh, that is a, a really tight joint. And of course, your bed post would be sitting up like this. And that would be your, your look. You can see how that would stain up beautifully once that's finished. Super tight connection over time. It won't loosen up. So I hope this helps with your bed project. And um, we'll see you next time.